Andre, can you hear me? I did not hear you. Yeah, um, are we going to start anytime soon? I'll just check in with the chair in time just to, go, to locate him. Let me try to get hold of the chair. I've been trying to do so. If not, we can elect an acting chair and we can move on. Yes, we can. So let me just do that quickly, then I'll come back to you. Hello, honorable members. Afternoon, Chair. Um, uh, I thought it will be important that we actually have a slight delay because of the house that's sitting now. I'm sure they're actually about to finish so that we can just get our members to connect properly. Can I ask that we just have uh, 10 minutes Honourable members, maybe by quarter past, uh, if we can start. Well, well Chair, it's, uh, Dean. Yes, Dean. Well, 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 with respect, it's 10 past one now. Yeah. Uh, another 10 minutes would be 20 past, which would mean the meeting would be starting 20 minutes past its original start time. Uh, this meeting was scheduled for yesterday. It was postponed at your request to today during the house sitting. Uh, so, you know, with respect, we're all here and, uh, and we're ready to go. Uh, I, I'm not sure if we have a quorum, but if we have a quorum, we can start the meeting. Well, I think, I think at this stage, one was actually just saying plenary was supposed to finish before we start our meeting at one. Uh, one actually would just like, it's, it's a request, and I think uh, it is reasonable because of the importance of the meeting. So I think um, one wanted just to say 10 minutes, one actually make a, a point where we undermine our own meeting. Uh, can I request that we actually do that? Because I think it's quite important that we don't actually just uh, leave everything as is. But for now, let's actually just maybe try and get the members to, to come back and join. Because on, our part, on my part, I was actually just slightly late because they are almost done on the issue that is before plenary. So can I ask, please, uh, we just uh, have uh, uh, 10 minutes and then we can actually reconvene. My apology for, for that uh, disruption. Uh, let's actually maybe have that uh, Honorable um, McPherson. Uh, if we can, that will be quite convenient because I'm sure all of us are responsible to ensure that uh, the plenary actually proceeds okay while we're actually having our meeting to proceed with. My apologies, thousand apologies. So we will be getting
The chair, do you just mute the chair? Unmute, okay. Yeah. No, no, I, I think let's do that. I think uh, we can then be able to conveniently proceed. Um, sorry, honourable members, I'm sure we can be able to reconvene. My apologies for the delay. Um, Secretariat? Chair, we can, yeah, please. we can start proceedings, Chair. We can do a roll call, Chair. Um, I'll call out the name, Chair. Mr. McPherson? Honourable McPherson? Yeah. Ms. Masani? Honor Ms. Sani. Chair, Chair. Thank you. Ms. Muatse. Honorable Muatse. Present, Chair. Thank you. Welcome. Mr. Mulder. Honor Mulder. Honorable Mulder. He's on the platform, Chair. Mr. Cuthbert. Okay, Chair. yes. Honorable Cuthbert. Good afternoon, Chairperson. Thank you very much. Welcome. Ms. Mutahum, Chair. Honorable Mutahum. Good afternoon, everyone. Honorable Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Mrs. Hermans, Chair. Honorable Hermans. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Chair. Present. Thank you. Welcome. Mr. Mbuyani, Chair. Honorable Mbuyani. Honorable Mbuyani. He's on the Chair platform. President, good afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Honorable Mbuyani. 
Chair, those are the members currently on the platform. We're just checking with other members if they have um, 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 logging um, problems, no. Chair. Mr. Mulder, Chair. Honorable Mulder. Uh, Honorable Chair, thank you, I'm present. Thank you very much. Welcome, Honorable Mulder. Um, can I have the agenda, um, Secretariat? Chair, we will flag the agenda now. Please. We, we do have the agenda before us. Um, I think we would have to look at the apologies first before the adoption. But in, we considering minutes of the committee and we'll actually then go to the deliberation of the process of the NLC um, chairperson. Further down, if you can scroll down, then we look at the issue of the draft program in terms of first term of 2021. Honorable members, can I have this before you and get your guidance as proposed agenda for the meeting today? Chair, hey, Mrs. Hermans, Chair. Honorable Hermans. I Honorable have a move adoption of the ad agenda, Chair, as tabled. Thank you very much. There's a mover and a seconder. Chair, Ms. Ms. Masani's hand was before Ms. No Ms. Matahung sign, Chair. Ms. Masani. Uh, uh, Honorable Masani. Chair, I wanted before we adopt the agenda to actually check with the Secretary if the minutes were circulated before we can even discuss them. Thank you, Chair. Oh, okay. Secretary, I'm sure you can clarify that. Chair, the minutes were circulated, Chair. Yeah. Um, um, Honorable Masani, you didn't receive them. No, Chair, but I'm sure he can send them to me. Okay. We will do, we will do okay. so, Chair. All right. No, thank you very much. Sorry for that. Um, can we then actually then... Uh, Ms. Get... Mutawung, Chair. Honorable Mutawung. Chair, I wanted to second the, okay. the agenda. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, are there any objections? If none, can I ask that we then proceed to the agenda? There, there's actually issue because in terms of minutes, um, if we can actually just uh, have a check, if everyone has got, um, maybe Secretary will be able to actually have a look at that. And uh, let me just check if ever we can be able to actually fly the minutes. As the first item, I'm sure that's the first item on the agenda. Yes, Chair, we can, Chair. And just to indicate that Ms. Mantashe and Mr. Thring has joined the meeting, Chair. Okay, okay, welcome. L let's actually then take the first Thank you, Chair. Then. Yes. Hello. Uh, welcome, Mr. Um, no, Thring. Chair, I'm saying thank you for the welcome. Welcome, okay. Thank you. So we're taking the 17th of November set. It's actually about the consideration of the uh, BRRR report, the committee business in terms of the national lotteries. And then uh, we actually have the program and consideration of the draft minutes. So if you can scroll down uh, at the minutes, we wanna just to check uh, the members of the committee that were in attendance. Uh, we did actually have the different uh, members present if you can scroll down, Honorable uh, Secretary, and then we actually had apologies of uh, the members as reflected. If you can scroll down, um, th there was actually those issues which were actually list on the committee. In terms of their attendance, we did actually have the GTIC, and then um, we did actually have uh, the Chief Operation Officer and the office of the chief uh, financial officer, EDD, and the, the DTI. And this actually then uh, proceed down because those were the introductory points which was raised. There was actually a mover by um, Honorable Tring, seconded by Mantache. And 
on the introduction, but there was consideration of the uh, B triple R uh, in the consideration. Those are the issues to, in the conclusion. We actually did actually have those uh, issues uh, summarized in terms of actually welcoming of the fact that the DTI and EDD actually had the majority of these entities that has, have achieved a clean audit. If you can scroll down on the conclusion, there was a second point which was raised as well. And uh, the issue relating to the governments in terms of the spread of COVID-19 welcome the initiative support of the DTIC to mitigate. There are further points which were uh, highlighted. Um, if we can scroll down to item six, we did actually have uh, the issues relating to um, other bills, which we may actually have to look at the noting the LICA amendment bill and companies amendment bill, among others, have been outstanding since the fifth parliament. There are issues that I have to follow through. There were other issues which were uh, looked at and item number 10, that we need the DTIC to play a uh, offer the DTI entities such as uh, the two support. And then in recommendations, we did actually have the recommendations that the DTIC should be able to provide support to the NSC and SABS uh, on their turnaround strategy. There were actually further points when we go to the next point, uh, item 2.5, the committee deliberated and resolved on other party. I should submit conclusion and recommendation on the day. There was actually dates uh, which were uh, given of the 18th of November and 19th of November um, in terms of trying to resolve and conclude on the recommendation. So the committee business was the NLC process. I think those were the issues which were actually raised in terms of how we manage the process moving forward, which actually included the process of the finalization of the question, which was the 313. Uh, if you can scroll down, there was issues relating to consideration of the committee program, which was actually circulated. And uh, further, there were consideration of minutes of the 28th of October. And there was actually also further meetings of the 3rd of November. If you can scroll down. Um, it is actually also the issue that um, we were able to actually agree on the issues that were raised. And uh, we actually agenda a meeting at 10.30 on Thursday, 19 uh, November. So I'm sure they, that those are the minutes uh, which we had before us, uh, unless maybe there's any other further points when you scroll down. Can I get if ever committee members have got any issues to raise on the minutes? If not, can I ask that we agree on the record of the proceedings on the day? Chair, we have Ms. Mantasha, Chair. Honorable Mantasha. Thank you, Chairperson. I, I arise to confirm that the minutes are a true reflection of the discussions of that portfolio committee, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Mantasha. May we get a second? Any second to the minutes? M Mr. Mbuyani, Chair. Honorable Mbuyani. Chairperson, thank you very much. I second the adoption of the minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, unless there are objections. Can we proceed to the next set of minutes? Uh, if you can fly the next set. is the Thursday, 19th November. And uh, we did actually have the um, parties that were present on the issues of the BRRR and the NLC. We did actually have representation of the parties, if you can scroll down. Um, Let's scroll down. There were uh, different political parties, representatives, as listed. Uh, you scroll down. There were actually also apologies 
from uh, honorable members. The introduction part were actually issues that were relating to um, issues of secretariat informed that uh, uh, Ms. J. Hermans and uh, McPherson and Jaco uh, submitted apologies on that one. If we can just proceed further, because the agenda was then adopted. There was actually formal consideration of the BRRR. Uh, there was actually also discussions of the conclusions of the BRRR, which are issues listed, highlighted on the previous meeting. Uh, we can scroll down. We actually did uh, have uh, recommendations, which were actually considered on the previous meeting and also discussed and agreed upon on the meeting. If we can actually then uh, add the committee that actually were looking at amendments, there were some changes which were suggested. And uh, under the recommendations, there were issues that were actually added as well. If we can scroll down, there was an issue of uh, engaging the, re the relevant ministers to ensure compliance, which was actually raised with the issues which were listed. The fast tracking and tabling of the legislation was one issue. There was actually a mover and seconder uh, on the adoption of the uh, BRRR, which was agreed, and uh, the DA reserved its right to comment. There was actually issue of consideration of the NLC process, and there were actually uh, discussions and engagement that we had from different parties. There were actually issues that were reported in terms of progress uh, relating to a chairperson of the committee uh, informing that one of the candidates, Prof. Madonsela, has withdrawn her nominations. So there were actually committee deliberations and we actually adjourned the meeting at around uh, 14, 15. Um, so the next meeting will be on the 24th. Can I just check if ever there's a agreement on the set of minutes before us, honorable members? Let's uh, get members to indicate Chair, we have um, Ms. Mutahung and Ms. Mantasha, Chair. Honorable Mutahung. Thanks, Chair. I move for adoption of the minutes. Thank you, Honorable Mutahung and Honorable Mantasha. Chair, I have no reason not to support Honorable Mutahung on his proposal for the adoption of the minutes. Thank you. The second comment, and is there any objection? Uh, in the absence, can we actually ask that we take the next set of the minutes, honorable members? We, we're looking at the set of the 24th November. We actually had uh, the deliberation of the NLC uh, as a primary factor. We, we did actually have the uh, members uh, present, listed, and I'm sure members will indicate that uh, if ever there were other missing members, we'll highlight that. If you can scroll down, there, there were actually um, representation, there were no apologies, and there was actually attendance by the uh, legal services team where we actually had a discussion looking at the uh, legal advice. So in the introduction, the issues were raised by the chair on the different issues that we actually were looking at. And there's actually also the point that um, there was actually agreement on the adoption of the agenda by Hermans and Mbuyane. The deliberation on the process regarding the position of the chairperson of the national lotteries actually had different issues that we had to consider where different parties had uh, suggestion on how we can manage and deal with the process. And we did actually get um, the discussion relating to ministers' response, submissions of the, re the CVs. And I think uh, linked to the uh, 
uh, legal uh, team's uh, intervention. There was actually uh, more information of whether the minister should be requested to restart the nomination process or whether the committee would continue from this point. Those were clarified uh, in terms of discussions that we have. If we can scroll down in the resolution, the committee resolved that um, on 3.1. Uh, committee secretary should distribute the CVs of nominated candidates to all members and uh, advocate Jenkins should submit his response in writing. And we did actually agend the meeting around 10.23. Let me say the, those were actually issues that were raised and uh, there was actually further communication and distribution of information uh, from the advocate. Can I check if ever there are any comments on the minutes, corrections? Chair, there's, maybe... one, there's one correction, Chair. We have Ms. Mansani was in attendance, Chair, and we'll correct the minutes for that meeting, Chair. Okay, um, uh, Ms. Okay, let's actually make that. Uh, Ms. Sane, Honorable Sane was in the meeting, was omitted, because I did see that there were no apologies as well. So, the Ms. Sane was present in the meeting. Can I check if there are any further uh, issues? If not, can I ask that we then agree and adopt the agenda? Sorry, they, they accept the minutes as true reflection of the meeting. Honorable members. Honorable members, if I can Chair, just Mr. get Mr. Mubayani, Chair. Honorable Mubayani. In the absence of any chairperson, I would like to propose that we adopt the minutes as true reflection of the meeting. Okay, there's a mover for the adoption of the minutes. Is this, can I check if there's any seconder? I second, Chair. Thank you very Mantashe. much. Honor Mantashe. Okay, are there any objections? In the absence of any objection, can we then proceed? To, um, is that a last set we're going to look at now? Chair, there's one set, the 25th, Chair. Okay, Let, let's actually, it's continuation, which looks at the deliberation of the chairperson of the NLC. Can I then go down to members who were present and uh, scroll down further to be able to look if ever there were any apologies. There were none, members who were present and the attendance of the legal um, team senior legal advisor. There were actually um, the issues raised by the chair, which actually were issues relating to the NLC board. The adoption of the agenda was actually a um, seconded move by Mbuyane and seconded by Hammonds uh, as a record of the uh, discussions which were supposed to take place. In the deliberation, we actually had a discussion of the process of the uh, legal team and the engagement with the committee when we actually proceeded. And there were actually um, two main views that were expressed and uh, which relates to the finalization of the work around December or the uh, processing of the issue beyond that point. There were actually issues raised by parties, and uh, we did actually adjourn at around um, 1900 hours or nine, because I think largely there was that issue which remained that the main two views were expressed. The first was that the matter should be dealt with urgently and be finalized during December 2020. And the second one is that the committee should follow due process Complete, complete this in the first quarter 2021. Uh, there was general consensus requesting the minister for the committee to make a recommendation on the above before the 30th November uh, was not feasible. The person 
the chairperson indicated that the committee should allow the management committee to provide a timeline of the process for the committee's consideration on the day to on Tuesday 1st, which we actually have moved to today. Can I then actually ask that we look at uh, the acceptance of the minutes as true, true record of the minutes? If ever they, can I get from the committee members? Yes, Chair. Yes. What's your Chair? Honorable what? I move for adoption of the, I move for adoption of the minutes, Chairperson. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Mwatse. Can we then actually then uh, proceed to the next uh, step? Uh, the, the mover, the seconder. Um, there's someone who must mute. Can we get the seconder? I second, Chair. This is Herman's Chair. Okay, Honorable Hammonds, thank you very much. Can we actually then check um, if ever there's any objection? Yeah. So I, I think basically what we may actually have to do then is to move on to the next item. If ever there's no objection, can we then move to the next agenda item, uh, Secretary? Chair, the, the next agenda item is to look at the process going forward, Chair. It is whether the committee uh, that's the next item that we need to finalize the process going forward, Chair, and the committee, and we need to be guided by the committee and how we proceed, Chair. Okay. So the, there is actually information that was circulated, I'm sure, to members uh, around just 10 past one. And uh, in that information, we did actually have the agenda, which was circulated, but I, there was also an attached letter which I thought it might be important uh, to share with the committee because it was written to myself. And I thought maybe it will be important that the one briefs the committee on that. The minister wrote to myself, board member to perform functions of chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission. He wrote, I wish to inform you that the term of office of Prof. Neputanza as chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission ended yesterday, that was actually 30th November, to enable the, the continued proper functioning of the board. I have appointed one of the members of the board to perform the functions of the chairperson for a period to take account of the delays of the process for the appointment of the new chairperson in terms of section 31A read with section 3.3. 3. I have requested Ms. Zandile Brown, who has served on the board six, since 2017, to perform the function of the chairperson on an acting basis with effect from the 1st of December, 2020. I thought it will be quite important that we actually then have this letter share. I'm sure all the members has received the letter. And on the basis of actually the letter that we've actually got through, one thought it would be good that we actually speak to process in a way that actually assists to pick up on the issues. Further, I think um, one wanted just to say, having actually read the letter, there is actually the process that we actually have gone through as the committee because I think we have spoken to the issue of 16 November, where we actually had the recommendation uh, in terms of the appointment of the chair of the NLC. The minister has shortlisted short the three candidates for the committee consideration and requested that the committee provides feedback not later than the 30th November. So I think that's why one read the letter so that at least it clarifies um, in the letter dated 17 November, the Economic Freedom Fighters wrote the, to the chairperson of the committee, indicated the terms of the Lotteries Act. The committee should shortlist persons to nominate, nominated by the interested parties and make recommendations to the minister in relation to that. 
So one was actually just speaking to what we agreed to or understand as a background on seeking legal guidance on whether the session by the EFF has any merit, the committee received an opinion. We stated that it was a, the responsibility of the committee to shortlist. Subsequent to the committee received nomination that Prof. Nebtanda, one of the ministers shortlisted candidates, uh, uh, sorry, Prof. Madonsela, uh, one of the ministers shortlisted candidates has withdrawn her nomination for consideration for the position of the chairperson of the NLC. As a result of the above, I requested the minister to submit the CVs. All 41 nominated candidates, uh, which have been distributed to our members, during its deliberation held on the 24th and the 25th, 2020, the committee of concurred with the opinion that it was the committee that should be shortlisted, shortlist the nominated candidates. Furthermore. Based on advice on the legal services, the committee could use the nominated list of candidates as there was no apparent irregularities the ministers call for nomination. However, the committee agreed that it was not in the position to accommodate the request from the minister to complete the process of the nominating as of candidates by the 30th of November. On the 25th November, two main views were expressed by the DA and the ANC. The first was that the matter should be dealt with an agent and finalized during December. And the second was that the committee should follow due proce process and complete this in the first quarter of 2021. I think um, th there was actually an issue raised and the motivation was largely that um, the continued uh, participation of the chair of the NLC is actually the motivation why we thought the process should actually be moved with speed. At the time, I indicated that the committee should allow the management committee an opportunity to provide a proposed timeline for the process for the committee's consideration. The management committee have subsequently met on the 27th and the 30th of November. The committee secretariat in consultation with the National Assembly table and legal services advise us that the committee should provide an interim report for information to the house on the status of the process, given that the minister's requested time frame could not be accommodated. The management committee also considered the two proposed time frames from the ANC and the DA. One of the key considerations was that the matter was referred to this by the speaker for consideration of the report, and therefore the committee must table the report on its recommendation for consideration by the House. Given the parliamentary schedule in relation to plenary, the earliest opportunity for this would be towards the end of February, subject to the programming committee scheduling this at its earliest convenience. Consequently, whether the committee fast track the process or consider the matter in the first quarter of 2021, the minister will not be able to act on its recommendation until the House adopts it. Given the above constraint, the management committee view was that the matter be given due consideration, allowing for sufficient time to screen all nominated candidates, complete their security checks, and allow for the public participation process of the shortlisted candidates. Based on the facts, the management committee made the proposal that they sh that be shared during the meeting. Therefore, at today's meeting, the committee needs to consider uh, the following, the timeline of the shortlisting in the interview process, the guidelines to be used when considering the CVs for the shortlisting, 
an interim report on the status of the committee and considering of the position of the chairperson of the board of the NLC to the National Assembly. So there is actually a recommended uh, suggestion to be able to look at how we take the process forward. So I thought, uh, let me just go through the narrative and be able to actually speak to the issue of the discussion we had as management and maybe the option of being able to look at the process beyond just trying to get everything done by end of December. I'm sure there were discussions that took place in our committee. So I thought maybe it will be important, uh, Secretariat, because we agreed that we will have to send a, a letter to Parliament. And in terms of that letter, in terms of what I've summarized as well, is what we actually hope that we can be able to suggest as a way forward relating to the period beyond the end of December. Okay. I'm not sure if there are any further issues, Secretariat, on your side in terms Nothing of the report to, to Parliament. No, Chair, the, the, it's just an interim report that we advise the committee to adopt at the end of the process. It depends what the committee determines, Chair. Chair, the, Mr. Cuthbert and Mr. McPherson, hands are raised, Chair. Honorable Cuthbert and McPherson. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, Chairperson, just several issues that I'd like to raise. Number one, um, we reject the appointment of Mrs. Zandile Brown as the, you know, caretaking chairperson for the National Lotteries Commission. She was a part of the same board that allowed for looting to continue unabated, despite being the minister's representative. If she had acted in a manner to disclose what was going on there, that would have been a different story. But she's also subject to charges that I laid in July of this year that we are still awaiting a decision for from the uh, regional uh, public prosecutor. Now, fine and well to say that people are innocent until proven guilty, but what we're trying to do is restore the credibility of an institution that has quite literally gone down the drain. It has no public confidence, Chairperson, and people do not trust the NLC. So I found that to be a very ill-advised appointment by Minister Patel. Also in the letter, it doesn't give us a fixed period of time till when she will serve. I mean, she could serve indefinitely if, you know, colleagues on this committee decide to kick this process for touch any further. Now, the question that I have, and I see Mr. October is on the, um, on the platform today. And what I want to understand is the existing members of the board of course, Mr. Nebutanda's term is now ended, but does that still mean that he is in fact a member of the board? And what are the implications thereof? Because this would also have a larger bearing on how the organization functions going forward. Now, Chairperson, it seems like we've had a situation where we postpone meetings, we kick this meeting for touch, we kick that meeting for touch, so that we don't give ourselves enough time to have completed this process by December. And I believe that this is a you know, deliberate attempt by the so-called management committee or actually the ANC caucus to try and delay this process and appoint somebody who is fit for purpose for this particular position. Furthermore, Chairperson, I've still not received a substantive response to the proposal that the Democratic Alliance put forward for the shortlisting process that we need to follow as well as the criteria that needs to be considered when shortlisting candidates. So. Uh, you know, I, I just feel as if you've now left this to the last minute and you've done this conveniently so, instead of allowing us to actually conclude this process by the end of December, uh, we can delay our holiday plans as we discussed last week and I wrote a letter to each member of the committee in that regard. And I, I do believe that we are, you know, doing the public an injustice by not making sure that this matter is resolved before the end of the year. Honourable McPherson. Thanks very much. Um, we will know um, as this committee that it is not um, uh, within our uh, ambit uh, to appoint an acting chairperson, that this is the 
right of the minister. The minister has exercised that right. However, I think that this committee would do well to express its uh, extreme uh, disappointment in the way in which he has exercised that right. That he has decided to appoint someone that um, has serious question marks hanging over their head. Uh, someone who has, uh, by all accounts, been complicit with the destruction of the NLC. And someone who has shown no ability to speak out in the face of wrongdoing. Now that is something that should concern this committee uh, extremely, that the minister has not sought in any shape or form to try and remedy the decline and the rot in the NLC. In fact, what he has done is taken a whole lot of infected dirt and rubbed it in the wound of the NLC uh, to try and quicken its demise by this appointment. So the DA rejects the uh, appointment uh, and believes that it will lead to only more misery and more decline uh, in the NLC. However, that is, of course, the minister's right to do so. And the minister will need to be held accountable for what takes place between now and the appointment of a new chairperson. It's been very clear that the minister from the outset, when this started becoming apparent in 2019, and really started to become even more problematic at the beginning of this year, at every step he has failed and refused to take any responsibility and any decisive action in dealing with the NLC. He has allowed them all to stay in their jobs, he has not lifted a finger to place the board under administration or to fire the board. Despite our repeated requests, he has found every excuse not to do so, despite the compelling uh, evidence uh, before us. So we really are dismayed at the behavior uh, and the lack of willingness on behalf of Minister Patel to remedy the situation. Now, on the process going forward, it is very clear before us that there are two options. Option one is to fold our hands and go on holiday and unfurl our beach towels while sipping pina coladas while the sun sets. Or we can roll up our sleeves, get ourselves on a plane to Cape Town and start the process of shortlisting candidates. That is what the immediate priority of all of us should be through this December and to work for as long as possible. And of course, the success and the, or the failure of the National Lotteries Commission single-handedly hinges on that decision that we will make today. So I seriously urge all members to uh, prepare for some hard work uh, and uh, it is not uh, something that we have not done before. Let's uh, justify uh, the salaries that the taxpayers pay for us to do these jobs as lawmakers and let's restore the integrity of the National Lotteries Commission uh, and let's get to work. Those are the two options and I hope that we will get to work and get that done this side of the year starting as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Chair? Can we get, yes, uh, other Chair? comments? Yes. We have Mr. Mulder and Mrs. Hermans, Chair. Honorable uh, Mulder and Hermans. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I just wish to, to state that the Freedom Front Plus is also uncomfortable with this unfortunate appointment of the Minister, of uh, Mrs. Andile Brown, on the board, for the obvious reasons that she's been serving on the same board where um, all these things has gone wrong up till now. So firstly, please note that and then also that we also reject the appointment and that the Freedom Front place express the view that the situation should be attended to as soon as possible. Um, and we will have to see what is in line for the program, but we would have, we would have um, 
prefer to see it um, attended to already. Thank you, Chair. Okay. And then uh, Hermans, I think. Thank you very That's much. Right? Oh, no. uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity, Chairperson, and thanks for your um, your briefing uh, to the committee on the path that's been followed so far. Um, it is not, um, I'm not surprised that uh, the minister speak for the acting position has not been um, supported by the opposition parties, but as the African National Congress, we have all the faith in our minister that he has applied his mind and appointed the best person. We know that um, NLC is not without its challenges, but we know there have been reporting to the portfolio committee and there has been consequence management. So we support the, uh, the proposal by the minister. Okay, are there any further comments? Yes. Ms. Mantashe, followed by Mr. Mbuyani, followed by Mr. Honourable, McPherson, Chair. Honorable Mantashe and Mbuyani. Mantashe. Chair, maybe take Mr. Mbuyani in the meantime. Mboyani? I am too now, oh, okay. Oh, now. okay. Mantashe? I was struggling. Thank you, Chairperson, and thank you for the opportunity for me to comment on this matter. Chairperson, let me comment by saying uh, the National Lottery Commission is an entity that has given us clean audits over time. Yes, with, just like any other entity, it has its problems. I don't know what this uh, Hunapali is about because the irregularities that have been identified by the minister, all of them are under investigation. So I don't know why, what this high you Hunapali is about, Chairperson. Chair, as the ANC will support the minister in his appointment of an active person. We will not be tossed around by the DA. We will raise the name of Professor Nefutanda to continue until we appoint a new chair. They are rejected. And we were convinced that this is the duty of the minister, not ours as a committee. And now the minister has appointed someone. Again, they are crying. No, they must not hold us at ransom. We will support the decision of the minister on this matter, Chair. I just wanted to say, we're talking of a commission that is led by a woman that has over time given a clean audit. So I don't know this rot that they're talking about because those irregularities that, that happen in all entities have been put under investigation. So they must not, you know, confuse South Africans and the matter chair. Thank you so much. Okay, um, let me take Mbuyane. Honorable Mbuyane. Chairperson, thank you for the opportunity once more. Chairperson, it's very much disturbing for us here discussing the board here in this meeting. Yeah. I propose that if we want to engage with the board, Chairperson, we call the board into a meeting of the PEC. They report to this PEC. Rather now we're discussing issues that are not even in, in, in our thing, Chairperson. It's, to me, it's a serious problem. Chairperson, even if the DK, the DA rejects appointment, it's fine, Chairperson of the board. It's not within us to reject or to acknowledge what is happening between the board and the department, Chairperson. It's just a waste of time. We should be relaxing. We're going back to a meeting since in the morning. We're discussing issues that are not for this committee. Chairperson, even if or whether the PC will continue this week or next year, it will, it will yield the same results. Because the recommendation from the PC must via through the National Assembly, which is adjourning on Friday. And uh, I, I don't know why we, we, we were at this matter now. Chairperson, uh, 
I, I just want the, the, the issue, maybe uh, Mark Fessen can be able to capacitate his friend in terms of that appointment, because this appointment is not for this committee. So he knows, he understands processes, he just does not want to capacitate his friend so that the friend capture this understanding more than us, Chairperson. My proposal will be, let us deal with the matter because last time in the meeting, we could not agree in all parties to, uh, on, in terms of the process moving forward. Chairperson, let's go back to your proposal and engage your proposal. Whether we, 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 we find with your proposal, whether I object your proposal, we are coming with the other proposal, that will be the matter for discussion for this committee, not the board, Chairperson. We just uh, uh, playing with time. Thank you for the opportunity. McPherson? Thank you. Sorry. The one thing I did forget is I noted in a statement by the Lotteries Commission uh, that, uh, that they are going to, in their words, find an appropriate way to thank Professor Nevertanda for his service. Uh, I think we should also make it very clear that on no money should any party, balloons, ribbons, uh, streamers, or anything like that be bought uh, in some form of a celebration party for uh, Professor Nevertanda. Because the fact of the matter is that we are in this terrible situation of the decay and rot uh, and distrust of the NLC because of the professor. And I will remind this committee that it was only the DA and one or two other smaller parties that objected to Professor Nevertanda's board being uh, extended. And it was the members of this ANC committee that uh, decided to ram him through. And we have suffered the consequences of that for all these years. I will also remind this committee that it was Mrs. Mantashe who last week said that we must uh, appoint Professor N Nevertanda uh, for another three months. So uh, I think uh, members uh, have short memories and uh, they forget things within a week. The DA has never sought to interfere in the appointment of any acting chairperson. That was in fact members of the ANC in this committee. Now, going forward, it's very clear what the options are before us. Um, and uh, we, the, the rot and the malfees within the lottery have dragged on for way too long. To think that we can just go and relax uh, and, and sit at home while that continues would be a complete abrogation of our responsibilities to the electorate in South Africa, but more so to the poorest of the poor that these NGOs serve, the very constituency that the ANC will tell us that they represent, and yet they are happy to see them languishing without funds from the NGOs because the NLC has been unable or unwilling to uh, release those funds, or they have been stolen from NGOs to line the pockets of friends and families within the NGO. So make no mistake that should members of this committee choose to only deal with this next year, it is the poorest of the poor, the constituency that some amongst us claim to represent that will be the hardest hit and will have a terrible Christmas uh, over this period. The DA will be standing with those people and say that we must get to work, do our job, fix the NLC and do it immediately. That is what the DA will be supporting. Thank you very much. Chair, Mr. Cuthbert, Chair. Cuthbert. Thank you very much. Happen. Thank you very much, Chairperson. I think that uh, Mr. McPherson has captured our thoughts succinctly. Um, but I would like to just ask one question through you, Chairperson, and that is Ms. Mantasha shared a document that actually slighted the minister on our WhatsApp group a couple of weeks ago. And I just want to understand whether or not she holds a different position to Ms. Hermans, who just praised her minister and said she has faith in him and that she trusts him and that he will do the right thing. It seems to be a little bit of a split amongst the members um, in the ANC caucus, and I'd just like them to clarify themselves and also the source of that particular document. Thank you, Chairperson. Chair, I will actually... Uh, sorry? Ms. Mantashe's hand is raised, Chair. Okay, Mantashe. 
Chair, I would like the committee to go back to the agenda that it has adopted and forget about the other things, the frills that the DA is adding to this committee so that we can have progress because we're going back to the house at three o'clock. Thank you. Okay. Can I just say then, I uh, think um, we may have to agree that there are issues because on the social media and public information and engagement, and I think um, the last part of the communication from the Democratic Alliance uh, member, Cuthbert, uh, I think on my part, it's actually just a bit unfortunate because if ever there's an issue where we actually depart from what is an agenda before us and get to a point where there is much slinging, it is actually a waste of time and energy. Can I ask that maybe we actually move to the issue of the process where we add, because at this stage, I'm sure members who are members of the committee do have an opportunity to work with the committee show direction. And I'm sure when you look even in the uh, program of the committee, there are other important issues that we actually have to look at. But now I think with the mass media and other communication, uh, issues which are raised there cannot be the issues that the committee will have to sort out. But I'm sure at this stage, we are looking at the chairperson of the um, uh, NLC to be actually the process before us. Obviously, there will be issues for the board. Can I just say between now and the time where we suggested the process, maybe one will ask that we have the committee secretariat taking us through on what's possible and feasible. Because in terms of other issues that are actually being raised, it's actually something that we may not be able to conclude or have an agreement. So Secretariat, I'll ask that we actually proceed on what would be or possibly the practical program moving forward so that at least we can be able to actually take the discussion to the next level. Secretariat? Um, Chair, uh, Mr. I don't know if you understand Mr. Mbuyani and we'll get ready for the document, Chair. Mbuyani? Uh, Honorable Mboyane. Chairperson, thank you. Uh, my proposal was uh, that correctly, Chairperson, to say, let us get back to the document and have proposal and look at the process, how we're going to deal with the process moving forward, rather dealing with issues that are not even of concern for the committee. Thank you. Okay, can we have the document, Secretariat? Can you um, take us through? Chair, and a couple of weeks ago, we took the, the members through the first part of this document, which look at the legislative requirement and revisions for the appointment of the chairperson. Chair. I think we're not going to go into details, Mark. We're going to just move down because I think members exactly know what is going on there. If we can go yeah. down, Margo. Uh, we also... At the last meetings a couple of weeks ago, we also looked at the responsibilities of the board, which is guided by Section 10 of the Act, Chair. So we've gone through that as well, Chair. If you go down, Margo. Then also we look at the procedures set out in the Lotteries Act, we call for nomination. I think members are, uh, are fail with the, with the process regarding the, the, this, this, Chair, if Margo can go down. Because it outlines the whole process, Chair. Then there's the proposed uh, um, uh, uh, um, process that at the last meeting, management committee indicated they may want to prepare a document for the members chair to look at. Now, if you're looking at the shortlisting chair, the committee need to consider and adopt guidelines, uh, which is section five for considering CVs um, and committee determine the duration of the shortlisting process chair. Then chair, Proposing the committee should proceed to shortlist candidates for, for interviewing process on the 26th and 27th of January 21, Chair. Then, Chair, then there's an administrative process that will take place after that is seen is taken by the committee. Um, so these are projected dates. So once we the committee has shortlisted, 
we will then contact those shortlisted candidates to determine whether they accept the nominations and we will be in communication with them throughout the process and we also make the necessary logistical arrangements for the shortlisted candidates and by making applications to assure that the candidates are able to participate in the interviews. During this process up to that chair, we will start with the pre-screening just with the verification of, of the qualifications and references of the nomin shortlisted nominated candidates to be interviewed um, during this process. And obviously our protection services in the Ministry of Security, State Security will assist in that regard, Chair. Then Chair, once the committee has shortlisted the candidates, the CVs of those shortlisted candidates will be then um, published on all social media sites, calling for public comment, Chair. And if the date, if the final date for shortlisting is 27th, we will put out a, 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 a request that members of public can submit comments on the shortlisted candidates by the 15th of February. Secretariat will then summarize those, any issues or concerns raised by the public on the nominated shortlisted candidate during the period of the 15th to 19th, and will make that available to members of the committee when they start the interview process. As we indicated, Chair, that the drafting of the questions on the morning of the interview go down, Margot. The, these are purely logistical stuff. We'll get a secure holding room for shortlisted candidates and also. Then on the, the proposed date for, for the interviews is scheduled for 23rd of February. And it will be on that day that members will, see, will look at questions and make any changes they wish to make to those questions that are, are drafted by the Secretariat Chair. Then Chair, the scores on the following day, on the 24th, the scores, the members will start to liberate and score the individual candidates uh, um, um, uh, on that particular day. During the period from 25th and 26th, we will prepare a draft report, Chair, and the committee will then consider and adopt its report on the 3rd of March, 21, Chair. And on the same evening, that report will be ATC. The National Assembly will then consider its that report, and that's determined by the program committee chair. That is the time frame for the option if we uh, uh, um, proceed with dealing with the matter next term. Sir so, Jarrett? You cutting? Can you, can you check uh, that your line is cutting? Let's conclude our presentation, Chair, on the, on the proposal, Chair. Okay, okay. Chair, so, can so you hear me, Chair? Come again? Can you hear me, Chair? Yeah, no, you're back now. I can't hear you Chair. now. Yeah. Those are the proposal and the timeline that we that we indicated for the process to be completed, Chair. Chair, mm -hmm. Mrs. Hermans and Ms. Mantash's hands are up, Chair. Honorable Hermans. Chair, I want to propose that we adopt as the portfolio committee uh, this uh, procedure as set out now by the Secretariat. Uh, but I want us to remain flexible that if we manage to conclude any processes earlier that we will then move up the dates, but that we stick to these dates as, as it is, because it is well laid out and it gives us a sufficient time to apply our minds as portfolio committee. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Mantasha. Chair, yeah. Chair, I support what Honorable Herman is saying because the draft gives us enough time to apply our minds and also look into how do we fit it into the program of parliament going forward. Thank you, Chair. Okay, there are any further comments, uh, honorable members? Chair, there we have Ms. Masani, Mrs. Mr. McPherson, and Mr. Cuthbert, Chair. Masani. Thank you very much, Chair. The presentation was a bit too quick. Um, I didn't capture the first two dates or first two activities that should be done in December. And I want to check 
with the Secretariat if they are feasible or not. Okay. Secretary, if I may respond, Chair. The first two dates is to, if I may respond, the dates that we're referring to is today, Chair, is for the committee to make the decision on which option they are, uh, of whether they will proceed with the option presented, Chair, or not, Chair. Okay. I'm, I'm sure it does get clarified. And then, yeah. uh, uh, I'm sure it clarifies. That is, is a date for a decision of what process we follow. All right. Yes. And then let me take uh, McPherson. Thanks, Chair. And the DA uh, will not uh, uh, support this recommendation. It is absolutely clear, uh, as I have uh, put before you, um, that we must start immediately uh, on Monday next week. Um, and if the committee is not prepared to do that, we are going to assist those members in their constituency to inform their constituencies of exactly how little they really care about them. So the DA rejects uh, the report and will reject it in the House as well. Um, Cardbet? Honourable Cardbet? Thank you very much, Chairperson. Just to add to Mr. McPherson's comments, if you can please minutes that both Mr. McPherson and I were voted against the delay of this process. So noted, Chair. Mr. Um, Mr. I'm, Mr. I'm, just, I'm, Mr. I'm just saying that there's a point which one wants, just wanted to check, Cuthbert, when you say delay of this process. You delayed the process, so we are voting against the delay of the process. It's as simple as that, Chairperson. No word wow. salad needed, straightforward. Yeah, I'm sure because it's the English. English. Absorb it, take it in. That's that's what. Well, well, I'm just saying that it will be English, which is my second language. That's why I might actually have to ask for clarity. But uh, from what you're saying, it's fine. Can we take the next member? Who's the next member? We want to comment. Um, him. Ms. Man Ms. Mantashe, and then follow by Mr. Mulder, Chair. Honorable Mantashe. Thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, we are not going to. To, to come to this platform to grandstand and score points of people who pretend to be caring about the poor uh, as well as we know that they're not. We're not going to do that. We want to do our work fine, very fine, and be very cautious so that we don't uh, commit any errors. We're not going to grandstand here, so we are going to do our work. That's all. Thank you. Okay. The next member was... Um... Honorable Mulder. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. I just want to re repeat that uh, Freedom Front Plus um, also feels frustrated by the fact that the process is not able to continue. Um, uh, but we are considering the BUSY program. And I wish to state that the Freedom Front Plus also objects to the fact that the process has been delayed and that we will. Um, we will keep a close eye on, on the progress. Thank you. Okay. Um, are there any further comments, Secretariat? Okay, if, no further comments, Chair. Yeah, if there are no further comments, and I am sure that in terms of what we have before us, we can be able to proceed in that way, because uh, one did actually ask earlier to say feasibility of the other option, it's actually an issue that we think might be a bit of a challenge for the transparency of the process. Let me actually then say, can we then get the committee to agree that we proceed as proposed? Okay. Can I just for the sake of, of the minutes request that all those in favor of the proposal um, show indicate and those against indicate so that we accurately record. There was a, 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 a Mrs. Herman's move supported by Ms. Mantashe, but let us just uh, record everybody who is in favor of that proposal and then we'll do the. And we, we have three members who is against that proposal, Chair. Okay. So maybe let's actually get, we can ask members, uh, then you can be able to pick up and record in that way, uh, Secretary. 
The suggestion that you ask members. Yeah, I'll call the names, Mrs. Mrs. Mutahum. Thanks, Chair, for the opportunity. I second the proposal. Okay. The, the, pro the proposal was seconded already by Ms. Mantashe, Chair, so we should need to okay. either support the proposal, Chair. Oh, yes, it, it, it's supported. I think the seconding part is it, it, it's understood. So you support Ms. Mutawung, Honorable Mutawung? Honorable Mutawung, yes, one. Can we proceed? Chair? Yes. I, I support. Okay, thank you, Mr. Honorable Mutawung. Mr. Mbuyani? Honorable Mbuyani. Chairperson, for the sake of the South, Chairperson, thank you. Yeah. For the sake of the South Africans and the democratic country, Chairperson, I support the move. Thank you. Okay, the next member. Chair, Ms. Moatse, Chair. Moatse. Chair. I support. Okay, thank you. The next member. Those members against Mr. McPherson. McPherson. In solidarity with the ANC's constituents who are going to suffer because of this uh, and willingness to do work, I reject this report. Mr. Cuthbert, Chair. Cuthbert. Chair, that's an emphatic no from me. Mr. Mulder, Chair. Mulder, Honorable Mulder. Thank you, Chair. Um, Freedom Front Plus oppose the report. Okay. The honorable next member. Honorable Masani, Chair. Honorable Masani. Chair, I would just like to say we reserve our rights not to vote. So you'll be abstaining? Yeah. Honorable Masani? I'll be abstaining, Chair. Okay. Thank you. Chair, Mr. Thring, Chair. Honorable Thring. Abstain as well, Chair. Thank you. Three and abstain. Chair, we then have five votes for for the for the proposal and three against and two abstaining. So the majority have it, Chair. Okay, let me see. Um, we said uh, we had five, two abstaining, and then um, three opposing. Three opposing. And I should ask your vote as well, Chair. <laughs> Then it's six okay. Chairs. Okay, so that's fine. So on 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 that one, um, then I think um, then the those who actually agree that we proceed as proposed uh, does actually carry a decision of the committee as agreed to. That's correct, so, Chair. And the chairs vote was. Okay. Well, chair, I come again. He, the the member wants to know your vote. Is oh, it not on, my, on my on my on my it's on my part? I think uh, what's uh, important is that it's feasible, it's implementable, and it actually contributes to the transparency of process we should engage in. I support it. So I think that's that's the position of the chair. chair Thank you so very much. So then yeah. we record six votes, chair, for the position for 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 the for the for the proposal, chair. Okay. Okay. Chair, Thank that you. that will include the the criteria that the members will utilize for shortlisting of the of the students. Chair. Okay. No, thank you very much. Can I ask that we pick up the next item on the agenda? This one is actually agreed to in terms of process of the NLC chairperson, because chair. it's actually the board is the NLC chair. chair. Mr. Cuthbert, chair. And yes. Mr. Masani, chair. Come again. Mr. Sani. Cuthbert and Ms. Ms. Masani, Chair. Okay. Cuthbert? Chair, granted the vote went one particular way, right? But what M Mr. Herman said after the fact does not sound correct to me. As far as I understand, it was a process document and there would be timelines involved, not criteria. The committee has not considered the criteria that the Democratic Alliance has put forward in a letter that I addressed to yourself for distribution to the committee. So we mustn't add things in after the fact. The vote was on the timelines. It was not on the criteria that was to be considered. It's there's a, playing a very dangerous game there, Chairperson. Chair? I think in, in every part of what needs to be done, there will be engagements. 
I'm just saying, process-wise, it will be explained, we will engage, we will agree, then we will proceed. I think every step that we have taken up till where we are now, that's what we have done the whole time. Chair, so I think I that's the yeah. If I may, Chair, I will request yeah. Margot just to put up the document, Chair, so that we go through the criteria that the committee previously uh, went through, Chair, um, so that members and then Mr. Mr. Cuthbert can then either... Chairperson. Ms. Masani, Chair. Okay, Honorable Masani. I also wanted to say the same thing. The agreement which was just endorsed now or approved now by the committee are the dates and the timeline that needs to be followed. Uh, when it comes to criteria, like you're saying, we will need a different platform or, or a different time to then um, agree on the, on the certain criteria which need to be followed, which I don't think would be a serious problem because the act does state who is firm and who is firm and fit, and, and fit to to be a chairperson? But the agreement now. Let's make it clear on record that it was for the timelines. Thank you, chair. So noted, chair. Mrs. Hermans, chair. Okay, honourable Hermans. Chair, I just for the record want uh, to just ask for clarity whether the EFF representative on the platform is a alternate or a member of the committee because doesn't that affect the voting status um chair if i may chair any yeah. any alternate member replaced the the full member of the meeting and he or she, her vote will count as well chair if both members are on the platform chair it will only be the the, the vote of the full member that will count but Ms. yaku is absent chair so Ms. masani can participate and a vote will be counted accordingly chair Okay. Thank, thank you for that clarity. Okay. So let's actually then, um, Secretariat, uh, speak to the issue raised. Chair, then we, what we'll do, Chair, Ms. Ms. McCuthbert and Ms. Musani is correct, Chair. Um, let's look at the criteria that we propose, that, uh, that the management is proposing for consideration for CVs so that the committee can also uh, um, consider Mr. Cuthbert's um, input regarding the criteria, Chair. So if Margo can just share that chair, then we can proceed, Chair. So is it actually quite correct to say then this is timelines relating to process? In every process, there will be actually engagement and move on the way forward. Because that's basically the issues which we actually have listed on the presentation we have just looked at. So can we actually then fly that and then you can comment, uh, Secretariat? Chair, if I may. Yeah. On the section um, preceding that, preceding the um, the criteria, um, one of on, at the bottom of page five, it says that the person must be a South African citizen. So we just wanted on a record that the secretariat. Will, will circulate a list of applicants and their ID numbers so that as we go through the CVs, we can see whether uh, these members are uh, South African citizens because the ID numbers are redacted in the, in the CVs. Thank you. So let me just say it, it does look like we're going into the detail uh, of the program. It's, it's actually not incorrect, but I was just saying in terms of what we have before us, it then becomes a program to work from. There will be issues that we will actually have to engage on in a way of the implementation in the process that we actually have sort of presented of a structured approach of what we need to do. And in every step, I'm sure there will be actually opportunity to, to clarity, to questions and engagement. So, Secretariat, I'm not sure if ever there's any further point. If you can show that uh, program and then actually have a, a clarity in terms of the questions that we ask. Chair, we will share the doc, Chair, now. Um...
Just give me a Not the program, Margot, the, the, um, the criteria of the previous document, Chair, Margot. From page six. Chair, maybe I'll see if I can share, Chair. Okay. We're looking at the, the possible criteria for screening of Stevie's chair. Yeah. Chair, this crit, um, list of, of, of criteria was previously flagged before members and we made the necessary changes that some members have chair. So if we can go through each criteria and, 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 and so the members can comment on that chair. Criteria one chair is that the person have skills and practices have the specific skills and practices, Chair, lead the board in an objective manner, manner, have the ability to show restraint, be patient and be available, knowledge or experience regarding the functions and the principles underlying the role of the board generally should be impartial. And the act states a chairperson who shall be a person with applicable knowledge or experience with regard to matters of the board, section 3.1a. Then criteria two, experience in chairing meetings of strong individuals with specific areas of expertise and diverse idea. The chair must be able to chair meetings of the board in accordance with the general agreed rules of meetings. Number three, chair, the ability to lead the development of strategy and give strategic direction. The chairman must be able to strategize and evaluate strategic plans of management and the implementation thereof. Number four, the person should have knowledge, experience or principles of corporate governance as contained in King Report on Corporate Governance and the Companies Act. The board is the governance structure of the NLC and not involved with the day-to-day -day running thereof. Number five, it should be a person, you should be a person of good standing in the community with the history of moral ethical leadership. There's huge interest at stake and the chairperson must have history of impartiality, putting the interests of others before his hers. The board has enormous powers and this must be exercised with the greatest caution and care for proper procedures. The person should have the necessary skills to analyze the reports critically. Staff will be bringing reports on the performance of the commission regularly to the board for consideration and decisions. The history of promoting openness and transparency and a good understanding of the Bartlett principle is what the person should, should have. And the person should have, give due to consideration of the principle of openness and transparency. The person should have experience of working with large funds and budgets and a clear understanding of the Public Finance Management Act. The person, Section 101H, speaks to that. The person should have experience in appointment of and contracting senior staff members, setting of performance criteria and the performance evaluation of senior managers. The must appoint suitable qualified experienced person as commissioner in consultation with the Minister Section 2B1. That's that true. Then, chair number 10, the person should have the experience of keeping senior managers accountable. Commission will be accountable to the board, that's section 2B1A chair. This person should have a good understanding of delegations and what responsibility should be delegated to the commissioner. Any function of the board may be delegated to the commissioner or commission, section 10A. This person should have experience of policy development and implementation. The person should advise the minister, section 10.1 E, F and K, on percentages of money to be allocated, the effic efficacy of legislation, and on any matters relating to the national lottery. Number four, the person should have an understanding of the social impact of gambling and the social responsibility of the NLC. The Act requires the board to advise the minister on establishing and implementing of a social responsibility program in the respect of lottery section 101G. This person should display leadership qualities, in particular self-management and self-motivation. The person will be working under any other managers and be subjected to performance reviews and therefore has to possess qualities attribute of leadership. The person should, that would be would be able, able to be effectively act as the face of the NLC.
and the person and at least we have to look at the membership of this person on any other board chair. Those are the criteria that the members, members previously looked at and discussed chair, but this is now for the committee to determine if that is the criteria or any other members would like to make proposed changes or amendments to that chair. Chair, Mr. Cuthbert, raise his hand, Chair. Okay. Honourable Cuthbert. So, <clears throat> thank you, Chairperson. What I'd like is for a similar opportunity for our proposal to be flouted and for the Secretariat to read it out. Um, and then, secondly, just to point something out, is that this criteria spoke to the idea of us having to interview the shortlisted candidates. But it hasn't taken into if, uh, hasn't taken into account the fact that the process has now been reversed in essence, and we will now be shortlisting candidates. So while that may ne may be appropriate for interviewing candidates who have been shortlisted, it doesn't necessarily provide a you know a relevant screening basis for us to actually filter out people who may not be suitable for the role, and then put them to the test against that particular criteria. Um, one thing I would like to mention before Mr. Hermans goes to our proposal is the fact that there is not much in the act itself speaking to specific criteria that allows us to evaluate a candidate. Nothing hard in terms of educational qualifications and the like, but through the, the interpretation we received from the parliamentary legal advisor, it seems as if the committee has scope to decide on these kinds of things. So I, I wouldn't necessarily take the references to certain pieces of the act on the right hand column of the document just presented to us as the gospel truth necessarily, but rather an interpretation thereof. And I think that's important for us to consider when we decide on shortlisting criteria to pick the three candidates who we will then send on to Minister Patel. L let me just um, check as well if ever there's any further comments. Um, because I think on my part, what would be important, it will actually be a point that uh, I've raised with yourself, Honorable Cuthbert. And I said, we will be dealing with this specific issue. If you have any contributions, you'll be able to do that. So you do have before you now a proposal of what needs to be done if ever there's any issues you'd like to amend or add, I'm sure when we get to that issue, as I indicated, we will actually have to engage and look at what improvement addition are you looking at in terms of what would be criteria. So I think maybe that's very important. So one was actually hoping that we should be able to look at how do we add or amend in terms of what we have before us, which are contributions from members of the portfolio committee. So can I actually go back to you, Secretariat? Chair, before we have the hands of Ms. Masani and Mrs. Hermans, Chair. Yes. Thank you very much, Chairperson. I also wanted to allude to that fact that the shortlisting criteria that we had previously was for only those um, candidates which were brought forth by the minister. However, now we are dealing with the shortlisting of uh, more candidates, which is about 42. I would recommend, Chairperson, instead of um, putting us through the excruciating uh, process of having to deal with each political party's input for now. Let's rather set, because we've got time frames. let's give the political parties time so that they can go and adjust their um, contributions to the criteria of shortlisting. And then the committee can sit and then we come back and we agree. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Mr. Uh, Hermans, followed by Mr. Mbuyani, Chair. Honourable Hammonds, Honourable Hammonds, and Boyane. Okay, I agree with my um, honourable member Msani in that I uh, I have no intention of sitting and looking at the DA's uh, correspondence because for me it doesn't form part of the documents that were circulated for this meeting. And I agree. Let us all sit as political parties and make our inputs on the on the further processes. Thank you. Okay. The next member was um, 
Mungu yani che. Honorable Mungu yani. Chairperson, thank you very much. Uh, it's very much unfortunate that we was not told that as parties we must come up with uh, these documents that we just seen now. And uh, it cannot be correct, Chairperson, to discuss uh, uh, these matters now. If needs be, Chairperson, let us be given ample time ourselves to come up with proposals in dealing with the matter. In a nutshell, I'm seconding the two, the two latter speakers, Chairperson. Okay. Secretary, I'm sure we can pick up on the issues after the comments of members. You wanted to actually proceed on the other issue? Chair, it was on to proceed on the matter that Mr. M Mr. Cuthbert raised, but in light of the proposal, Chair, how are we proceeding, Chair? Mr. Cuthbert, raise his hand, Chair. Okay. Cuthbert, Honorable Cuthbert. Chairperson, I, I must say I'm not one to consider the feelings of Ms. Hermans and her personal whims. I followed the process. I wrote to the chairperson regarding the Point of order, chair. proposal. And Point of order, chair. Point of order, chair. All right, Msane. Hold, hold on. I raised hold this on. issue with you, chairperson. Um, chair, point of order. Honorable Cuthbert. Chairperson, I'm not going to entertain you. Honorable Cuthbert. Then, then you, you're not welcome in the point of meeting. order. It's never a so I'm actually Honourable not interested Cuthbert. in your bias Cuthbert. today, Chairperson. Allow Honourable. me to finish, and then Ms. Tashi can give her input Honourable. after. Chairperson, then rather chase him out of this meeting because he's not interested. Comrade, I, can, can, can Honourable Member, yeah. Can Honourable Member, you take off the platform, Chairperson, because he's disrupting this meeting. Can I just say then, Honourable Msane did ask for a point of order. Honourable Cuthbert, please don't be a bully. Don't it's be a bully. Because this is, so can I ask Msane, can you take your point of order, Msane? Honorable he Msane? cannot be calling honorable members here wimps. I First said I'm all. not so, at the No, no, I'm not, I'm, not I'm not debating with you, Pat. I'm not debating with you. I'm not okay. debating with you. If you fail to act like a disciplined member of this committee, if I was chairperson, I would have thrown you out a long time ago because you are bullying everyone so that they follow your, your command, which is never going to work. We are not all DA members, and everyone has a right to their own opinion, and you have no right to call what anyone. What is the actual permit. point of order? Can you please okay. draw up the rule? Well, um, can I then pick up on the point? Is just at the issue oh. of how you express oh. yourself on the word that the member referred to. I'm sure you actually do actually acknowledge that. That you can't actually can use those terminals. I said I'm down to do not find yes. myself beholden to the whims, not whims, whims. W H I well, well, means the personal yeah. feelings of another member. That's what I said. Yeah. Let, let me just that's say uh, parliamentary. Honorable, There's nothing wrong with saying whims. Honorable Cuthbert, that's why I was just saying at the earlier time. What the chair? You, say, what the chair? You, you were saying it in English, and it's a view that it's actually pathetic to be able to continue with that kind of communication which undermines other members of the committee. Please Can he withdraw that, that, that comment? Can the, he withdraw? Well, the point is that he's giving the two interpretation of the same thing. The issue was raised. If you intended to say whims, which means you actually- And Jefferson, Jefferson order, order chair, order chair. Let's hear Mbuyani. Jefferson, Mbuyani. the order is, you, you must rule on this matter. There was a uh, order on the table that this member is calling uh, uh, unparliamentary names and parliamentary members. Then you must rule yeah. on them. And well, they, I think that's a good. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, you must not uh, wait for explanation. You must take it to the chairperson and you must rule. Otherwise, you cannot we, be bullied by this white man. Le, le, wait. Uh, oh, that is a derogatory man. comment. On, 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 referring to me as a white man, yes. and now my opinion is less credible than anyone else's. Um, Thank you. You have not been given an opportunity to speak that Honorable can I just ask that the word you use is unparliamentary? Can we actually ask that you withdraw that one because that's the intention? The point of order was raised by the member. Honorable Mbuyane. I am sure that in terms of your response as well, let's actually not get uh, to that point where we are unable to communicate properly. 
So I think with Kagabet, uh, you have to withdraw. And then I think that, yeah. May I yes. respond to you? Chairperson, you can take the recording of this meeting. If it is found that I said wimps instead of wimps, I will gladly withdraw it in our next meeting. But at this point, I'm not willing to withdraw it because that's not what I said. Yeah. Can I just say then as well, it will be important that we keep the respects. Uh, Honorable Sun, the point you have raised, I think it actually makes complete sense. And I think um, from the part of what we actually have to go on the recording, uh, Honorable Cuthbert, it's unfortunate. And uh, I think um, Honorable Msane, we should uh, uh, Honorable Mbuyan, Le let's actually not be thrown to that space where we actually haul insults to each other. So one is just saying, can we proceed as a committee to actually pick up on the last issue of the information around what we have just agreed upon? Um, Secretariat, can we actually have the last part of uh, your, your, your information to share and ask for members that at least can we restrain our first And then there was a point of order. Now you haven't allowed me to continue with what I well, was saying in terms of the process. So can I please finish what I was saying? So a point of order has been actually uh, taken. Let me ask that you conclude your part and then let's actually go back to the Secretariat. Conclude so your part. Sure. The point I was trying to make to you, Chairperson, is to say that I followed the channel in terms of submitting it. I've raised the issue with you in the last two committee meetings. You've said to me there will be a space for you to discuss this matter. You've now created the space for us to discuss the matter regarding the proposal today, and that's why the proposal has come forth. It's not, I don't believe it was incumbent upon us to have to wait for us to make a submission. Rather, we saw that this was the process and we took a proactive step to put something forward to make sure that there were credible criteria for shortlisting candidates. And this is what we did. And that's why we've presented this document. Like the EFF, submitted a letter to yourself. You read it out in the committee. We are asking to be afforded the same opportunity. And it doesn't seem that the same opportunity has been afforded to us in that respect. No. Uh, let me just say, Cuthbert, I won't go back, uh, Honorable Cuthbert, in the discussion and debate of process. And I did actually say you, you actually had been previously writing letters to me on issues that you can raise in the committee on the agenda, you see. Because in terms of the EFF, it's not the member of the committee because one would have raised it with a member of the board. It was the chief whip of the EFF. But as a member, I did actually explain to you, please don't write to me as a chair raise an issue in the committee. On the point that you have raised and the issue that you have sent, there is actually space for to be able to engage at the committee. And it's actually highlighted in the criteria of what we have just uh, gone through. Those are issues we actually can contribute on what we have presented today. So I, I think that's the logic. Can we actually take Secretariat um, and move forward? Uh, there was actually a point where one was actually suggesting, let's proceed to secretariat, secretariat on the point you're trying to raise so that we can take the way forward. Chair, oh, uh, Mark, 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 I need to be guided by you, Chair. The, there was the matter that was raised by Mr. Cuthbert and his document. Do I proceed with, with, with chairing that document, Chair? Because there was a counter proposal that we should not uh, um, um, discuss it and give other parties opportunity and come back at the later stage to look at yeah. it. So I will need to so, by the committee on the process, Chair. Yeah, can I just say, in the letter sent by Honorable Cuthbert, it is contribution to the discussion we have pre presented under criteria. And on my part, I'm saying, as parties, let's look at what we presented today and parties can actually contribute and make suggestion on what we have before us today. So Honorable Cuthbert is in order to be able to go back to what he sent to me, discuss it under the criteria as suggested, and all parties should be able to do the same. And then we will be able to engage as a portfolio and take the process forward. Chair, then I will share the document of Mr. Cuthbert based on your guidance, Chair. Yeah, so I'm just saying uh, on my part, I think um, it, it's an issue which I think is quite important. And on my part, I was just thinking that 
in the issues that are raised here, we can go uh, quickly through because it gives just an idea. And on my part, I think uh, one would like just to say, please let's not have this kind of communication. These issues should be issues that are seen on the basis of the program we have just agreed upon. And then it actually does take the process forward. Quickly read through so that I can actually confirm that. No. Chair, yeah. there's, three, uh, there's three hands, Chair, so I do not. Mr. Mbuyani, Ms. Mr. McPherson, and Ms. Mantashe, Chair. Okay, Mbuyani, McPherson, and Mantashe. Jefferson, thank you very much. I think on this matter, the way your voice is down. Your voice, yeah, Mbuyani. Yes. 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 There was a proposal by Msane, was seconded by Ms. Hemens, and I seconded them as well. So we must rule oh. out the matter. As I'm saying, we cannot hold here and look at one party. If as a secretariat, you should have indicated to all parties to say you will want to come with proposals so that you engage with your proposal. Because okay. the proposal that is coming here, it's only for, for, for secretariat and parliamentarian. It cannot be correct, okay. a person sitting here and discuss one party's proposal. We should be okay. taken serious and be, 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 confirm whether we must come with uh, our proposals as well in terms of criteria. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Okay. Do I hear you, um, Boyane, with the next member? Can I just say then, can I actually then ask that we proceed? The letter would be. Oh, sorry, my hand is up. Yes. Can, who was who was the other member wanted to stop to speak? Mandasha chair. Mandasha. I will speak after McPherson chair. As yes, Andre. Okay. Mandasha. Honourable Mandasha. Chairperson, I don't think we must go the route that Honorable Cuthbert is proposing. I support Honorable Mbuyane. Uh, okay. Can all parties be given an opportunity to make their submissions and fit it in the proposal that we have just adopted? Okay. We will not go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So can I just say um, on the earlier communication that I've actually had, can I then actually ask that... Um, we, because the issue is covered on the document we have to look at, let parties Wait, can I? deal with their contribution to the process. And then um, I think uh, on the basis of what I've explained earlier, that was the understanding. I think the committee is in agreement with that. So anyone would like to talk uh, on this issue, can we then agree that we don't read the letter, it's contribution to a process we have just engaged on or presented as a committee. We are going to be using that. Well, All parties have a right to do that. So can we then okay. proceed to the next item? Sorry, my hand is up. My hand uh, is okay. up. You can't say we, McPherson and then just let, let at, me hear you. Your hand is up. Let's hear you, Kazbet. Thank uh, you. McPherson. You, you know, the problem, is, the problem is, is that people in this committee have short-term memory loss and they have short memories because the reason why Honorable Cuthbert submitted this document is because you, as the chair, asked political parties to make inputs into the process and to submit a document. Now, it is not our problem that other political parties need researchers and staff to write their contributions for them and that they haven't asked those people to do so yet and now claim to know nothing about the process. That is totally and utterly disingenuous of members of this party, uh, of this committee. And it is equally wrong, Chair, of you to pretend like you don't know anything about it when you were the person who asked for these contributions. And so that is why the DA made this contribution. We didn't suck this out of our thumb and decide to make the contribution. You asked for the contribution contribution we complied with that that no one else decided to do so because their minds are on their beach holidays is quite frankly not our problem 
And people really need to get their act together and do the work that we are elected to do. Yeah. Can I just then say, Honorable Cuthbert, you you are actually not telling the truth. I did not request any. Con I didn't request any contributions, and I did reply to Honorable Cuthbert to say, listen, this process we will get to as a committee. The criteria that was presented does actually speak to those issues. Party contribution were not requested before. You so mainly I think that's a point we actually can be able to agree upon. And uh, if we can actually be able to proceed so that at least we have an agreement on process. Today's meeting was to actually agree on the program criteria, includes the issue you send the comments on. And on the basis of that, we think it will be right for you to continue because you have presented the committee uh, program to be able to actually have your contributions or amendment in terms of our document. So you are contributing to the document we presented. You are actually not going to have a new proposal of the Democratic Alliance. What is presented is what the committee will be working from. So that's the understanding I want to put forward. Uh, let's hear if ever there's any further comments. Ms. Man Mantashe Chair and Mr. Honorable Cuthbert Mantashe. Chair. Mantashe. And Mr. Cuthbert Chair. And Cuthbert. Chair, we, yes. we appreciate what the DA has done of uh, coming up with that document. But as we agree, that will be amending if we agree on the, on the on their input to the document that the committee has adopted now. But we ask that all parties be given an opportunity to submit their inputs. We will not take this insult by Honorable McPherson on a day to day to refer to Honorable members of this committee as people who want to go to the beach to enjoy themselves. It will be equally painful to him when I tell him that for the past three weeks, he's been on the beach. So he must just not start with that thing. We will not accept it, Jay. Thank you. Not wounded at all by that. Okay. Not uh, if my uh, person. Uh, okay. been on can the we, beach for we, the last three weeks. Stop can, insulting us. Can, can I actually take the next member? Who's the last member? Mr. Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Take two minutes to Would the I... house to start. Chair okay. person. Can I take uh, Cuthbert? Chair person. So now I'm trying to understand something. This is mightily confusing for me. On the one hand, we have a proposal to say that each party must be allowed to put forward submissions, right? Now, we've explained our view about that. But now you are saying to us, as the chairperson of this committee, our whole committee, in fact, that what is on the document in front of us is what we're going to use and there's no other option. Can you please make up your mind? No, 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 no. Can you get your... Uh, can, you you see? No, can I finish? It's can I finish? Because what you're here. saying is contradictory. So I'm trying to gain clarity so we okay. know how we move forward. We can't do things on the basis of, you know, this is how it's going to be. This is a democratic parliament. We Each party needs to be able to give their input and they need to be allowed to express their views. We are not yeah. beholden to what the chair says is the rules. It doesn't work like that. This is a debate platform. So, okay. so please can clarify I, your remarks. Can I just say this? The presentation we had today includes the issue I told you about, that it will be an issue that will be considered on a presentation of the committee. And I said to you, please hold back. In the, in the communication I had with you, that's what I said. And I think it, we have got to that point where we are engaging on that issue. One is saying, please contribute to those issues as parties. Since you have made that presentation now, this is where we are. You can comment, uh, amend, or add. It's going to be up to you. And on the basis of that, I think there's nothing much which we are asking for. The reality we actually have before us now is that parties have a right to be able to look at what's presented today and be able to actually process for the program of the committee moving forward. So let me actually ask that we leave it at that and then actually proceed to the other side in terms of the program of the committee.
Can we move to the next item? This one I think is agreed to. We can actually proceed to the next item on the agenda. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ms. Ms. Masani had a hand up and Mr. Mumbuyani chair. The Honorable Sorry. Masani. My apologies to take you back. Um, in case the DA has amnesia, the document that they sent to you with criteria of shortlisting was on an incorrect process, which the EFF highlighted that it was incorrectly done. So now this gives an opportunity to all parties to use the correct procedure as per legal and as per the highlighting of the EFF to give contributions. So they must not come here and grandstand. The same thing that is going to happen with them raising issues about the appointment of the acting uh, chairperson is the same thing that's going to happen when we come back in this meeting because the act does highlight that the minister alone cannot appoint a, 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 a acting chair, but they, they want to go halabaloo and talk about beaches. Maybe they should go and read the act. Please, we mustn't have one day okay. special. We don't want one day special um, members. Uh, McPherson, please, can you be quiet? Can you allow Mbuyane to speak? Mbuyane? Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. I'm not so sure, Chairperson, because now we've gone over the time for the parliament. Whether this. We can't uh, hear you, Mbuyane. No, 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 oh, no. no. Well, no. You must just keep quiet. There's oh, one okay. chairperson. I can't hear you, so how am I, I supposed to? Um, there's one person. You must keep quiet. Just keep quiet. Can't, can't there's be, one chairperson in the comments. So why are you cheering then? Why are uh, you cheering uh, then, Mantashe? McPherson. McPherson. Cartbeth, McPherson, please be quiet. I said I can't hear the members. Is there something on the Cartbeth, can you be quiet? Um, Buyane, you are on the floor. Proceed. Jefferson, I was, I, I, I was suggesting that we, we close the meeting and join the parliamentary meeting that is ACT. Because this yes. one, Jefferson, is when we passed the time and there's nothing that we are agreeing here. We're just here to green stand. Don't pass those days. People must understand this is democratic South Africa. Okay. It's no longer on that rule, Chairperson. Yeah. So let me just say, let me just say this. Andre, Andre. Chairperson, I'm listening. Yes. They are, yeah, no, they, I'm just saying, can we, can we proceed in terms of uh, the meeting? Can we take the next item, Secretariat? Chair, the next item would be the consideration of the interim report indicating to the House we, that, that the committee is not able to come to complete its task by the 30th chair. It's a standard report and we have been advised by in consultation with the NA table and the legal services that because the matter was referred by the speaker to the committee and the committee's extension of the house, we just need to provide the committee with uh, the, the house with the interim report of the status of that request made by the minister. So it's just for the committee to adopt that and then look at the draft program chair. So if we can just share that that interim report chair, it, is, it, it captures the essence of... If Margaret can just share that report chair. Okay. Chair, it takes us to the process and many of the stuff that we have in this interim report chair has been members are aware of that. It just speaks to the to um, the the process of the 16th of November and, and when the matter was referred to the committee and it relates to the committee requesting the chair minister requesting that the committee provides feedback by, by no later than the 30th chair. Then we outline the process of um, why um, the committee would not be in a position to uh, accede to that request, Chair. Uh, we make reference to the, there's some members who, the committee make reference to the report, make reference to the, the letter from the EFF, Chair. And number three, and on the legal guidance we received, Chair, and, and the opinion that was, and, and the withdrawal of Professor Maroncella, Chair. And before provides the opinion that in relation to that request by the EFF chair uh, for, to be considered that it's committee's responsibility to shortlist and not the, that of the minister chair. Then Marvin goes to number five. Um, 
the chairperson then also indicated that he requested that the CVs be submitted to all to the all nominated candidates be submitted to the committee, and the minister complied with that request. And in that letter of the 22nd, he once again asked the committee to adhere to the 30th deadline. Now, chair, on the meetings that we held on the 24th and 25th, there was uh, the committee concurred with the opinion that the shortlisted candidates should be should be done by the uh, um, committee, and the committee informed by the opinion. The committee concluded that it was not in a position to accommodate the request from the minister to complete the process of nominating a candidate for chairperson of the board of the NRC by the 30th of November, uh, undertakes to conclude the process in the first term of 2010. This is purely for information. The House doesn't need to consider that, it, but it's just keeping the House abreast on developments within uh, with the process chair. So we need to adopt, uh, uh, move the report and adopt the report chair. Yeah, so we are giving an update report to Parliament. Yes, uh, I'm sure we can get the members to agree to that. Yes, Chair. We need other need Honourable to move members. To Honourable yes. members. On Mr. Mbuyani's hand is up, Chair. Honourable Mbuyani. Chairperson, thank you. I move that the report be adopted. Okay, let's actually get to the seconder. Chair, I see Ms. Masani's hand is up. I do not know. Honorable Masani, seconded. And any objection? There are none. Can we take the next item on the agenda, Secretary? Chair, we will look at the. the Chair, we look at, yes. Masani? I did not second because I did oh. not get the document. Oh, okay. Okay. So let me just check then. Um, sorry, sorry for that, uh, Honorable Sun. So I'm just saying that um, um, they said your hand was raised. That's why I pointed mm -hmm. it to you. We were not seconding. Um, can I check the seconder? I Mrs. have to second Honorable Muyani Chair. Ms. Mantache okay. Chair. Honorable Mantache. Okay, seconded. Any objection? None. Can we take the next item on the agenda? Chairperson, may I raise something with you? Is it parliamentary to call another member a jerk like Ms. Msani has done? Is it on parliamentary to call a member of this committee a one-day special? Okay. Or if you so, want to be in kindergarten, we'll both yes, be in is, kindergarten. Yeah. There's nothing can I just say, yeah, Mr. Uh, McPherson is speaking the truth. You're just trying to can, be can I, Kag, Kagbet, Honorable Kagbet, Honorable McPherson, please. Um, Sane, I think um, the issue of being tempted to get to the space where we don't respect each other, please hold back. Uh, Cuthbert McPherson, you are not helping that much. Can we actually ask that we take the next item on the agenda? Chair, we're looking at the draft program that we for, for the first quarter of, of, of next term, Chair, next, the first quarter of next year, Chair. If we can okay. just like that quickly, Chair. Yeah. Chair, this is the, the draft Chair proposal. Person. For Can I just say the, the, char the, the charts are getting to be problematic. Can I just say... Chair and I would like this member to substantiate yeah. with proof what he has yeah. just written here. Please. Yeah. Can I just say, Cuthbert and McPherson, please don't abuse our chart of our meeting. Secretary, can you go through the... the, the the program, chair. The program highlights the, the already the agreed process with regard to the NLC. So those matters are in green, chair. The yellow bit is that we scheduled for on, on the 27th on January deliberations on the limited bills, chair. On the 2nd of February, we are getting a briefing from the DC, DTIC on the second quarter financial and non-financial performance, chair. And then we will formally consider. The report on the remitted bills, Chair. Then, Chair, on the 3rd of February, we will get an update on from status report from SABS and NRCS on the implementation turnaround strategy, Chair. And then on the 9th of February, we'll get a briefing by the NGB on its first court, first and second quarter financial and non-financial performance. Chair, on the 16th, if Morgan can take it up, Chair. Okay. On the 16th. We will get a briefing by the DTRC's role in the economic recovery plan, Chair, which will be followed on 17 with engagement with the entities on their contribution towards the 
economic recovery plan, Chair. That's in relation to, to the DTIC's entities, Chair. And then we will consider the first draft report of the DTIC second quarter financial and non-financial performance. Then, the, like I indicated, the green items, we will schedule interviews for the 23rd Chair starting 8.30, short with the finalization of questions. That will be a closed meeting, Chair. And then starting interviews uh, uh, um, from quarter past 10, Chair. If, if we need additional time, depending on the number of candidates, Chair, we will request the House, the chair, house Chairperson for us to proceed within the House sitting, if the House is sitting that day, Chair. On the 24th, Chair, the committee will have their first deliberations on, on, the, on the candidates after the interviews, Chair. And on the 22nd of March, Chair, we schedule a briefing by the Minister on SONA and the budget as it relates to the TTIC mandate, Chair. The 3rd of March, Chair, we will consider, formally consider the recommendation to be made to the Minister regarding the position of Chairperson of the National Lotteries Commission. And we will formally consider uh, the report on the DTIC's sick quarter financial and non-financial performance. On the 9th of March, Chair, we will receive a briefing by the NCC and NCT on the first and second quarter financial and non-financial performance. And on 10th of March, we will receive a briefing by the NCR on its first and second quarter financial and non-financial. Then, Chair, this is based on the remitted bills. If that decision, if a decision is taken, in this regard, Chair, we will then schedule pub public hearings, but this is subject to a decision being taken, Chair, on, on public hearings on the fair use clause, Chair. And then on Friday the 19th, it will be a, 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 a first Friday meeting that we will then hear the response from DTIC on the submissions that we receive on the fair use clause and also response from the parliamentary legal advisor on the submissions. Chair, the constituency period start, start uh, the starts the next next week, Chair, hence the 19th of March will be our final um, 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 meeting, Chair. So this is for the committee to, to adopt and agree to, Chair. Okay. It's a proposed program for the committee because obviously we need to have something that we're actually going to work on. Um, let's actually check if uh, the committee, it will be subject to changes or amendment. Let's actually have the committee responding to the proposed agenda. Honourable members, as proposed. Chair, I don't know if Mr. Mbuyane's hand is up, Chair. We're still up from the previous one. I'll just want to confirm. Honourable Mbuyane. And Mrs. Hermans, Chair. And Honourable Hermans. Honourable Mbuyane. Thank you very much. I move. I move that we adopt the proposed uh, program, uh, Chair, until the first quarter uh, 2021. Okay, so let, let's actually get Honorable, um, who was um, Herman, Natasha? Herman. Herman. Come. Yeah, on, I, Herman. I, I second the proposal of the uh, proposed program, bearing okay. in mind that there might be a change of dates. Okay, so can we then actually have an agreement? Is there any objection? Uh, in the absence, can we take the next item on the agenda? Chair, that, that, that is the last item on the agenda for the committee to consider, Chair, but the committee just need to f f uh, um, conclude whether on the process regarding the, the criteria, Chair, how are we are we dealing with that, Chair? No, it, it's being um, concluded because I okay. think parties, we did actually have a discussion where we're saying as parties, we'll need to actually then be able to have the opportunity to process, to take the process forward. And I'm sure it's as a secretariat, there will be actually the procedural sense of how those issues are going to be managed and at, um, managed at the committee side. So maybe that's what we actually have to agree upon and uh, we'll actually pick it up from there. Is that sufficient, secretariat? My, my concern, Chair, is, 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 is that if, if this is our last meeting today, Chair, is if members will have uh, 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 the, the full list of criteria that I should consider when they go short, do the short list in chair. Okay, so I, I think what we that uh, what we may have to do can we actually make a suggestion uh, in terms of actually the secretariat on how the process should be managed because it's chair. giving opportunity to members to comment. 
Yes. Because, because the request was, was offered members to come and share may I suggest that we maybe meet tomorrow between one and two just to finalize the criteria and allow parties to submit that and we can put the, the matter together, Chair, for the committee's consideration, Chair. Okay. But let's to that, Chair. Okay. So let's actually then actually have uh, that uh, suggestion and uh, let's actually then um, proceed to have that uh, one hour meeting so that at least we get the committee to give us the way forward on the particular issue. So I think, uh, Secretary, let's do that. Let's actually have the meeting for tomorrow, an hour meeting, just to look at that. We will ask for your guidance and a clear sense of program on how we process that moving forward. Will that no be in order? That will be in order, Chair. And if any other parties want to submit anything for us to put together, Chair, they will be welcome to do so, Chair, before tomorrow's meeting. Okay, good. All right, can we then proceed to the next item on the agenda? That is the full agenda for today, Chair. Yeah, can I just say it will be helpful uh, to actually have um, the members of the committee assisting us to be able to have proper and uh, orderly discussions, particularly for Honorable Cardbeth and Honorable McPherson and Honorable Msani, one would actually say, don't be tempted because this is actually a way of not being able to talk to each other. The chats as well, we would actually just say, as earlier point was raised, uh, Cardbeth, Honorable Cardbeth suggested that I should be able to look at a, a record but I think on my part, the information on the chat as well does actually go a long way on what we need to discourage and not really get to the level of communication of committee members because it's completely unacceptable. So can I just actually then ask that we get that communication secretariat of the meeting of tomorrow with a specific agenda item, which will be mainly what we need to actually agree upon and proceed. Can we then Chair, conclude our meeting? Chair, and, uh, I don't know if Mrs. Herman's hand is up, Chair. I, I always... Oh, Honorable Hermans? No, it's not up. Okay, okay. So we just have to lower the hand. Sorry, All right, Chair. thank you very much. Can, can we then actually conclude our meeting and thank everyone for participation and actually have our last meeting to look at this specific issue of criteria on how we manage that moving forward. Thank you very much. The meeting is adjourned. Long live the chair, long live the chair.